we made it to the Polynesian. We just checked in and our room is ready. So I am heading over. We are staying at Disney's Polynesian Resort for two nights. We are staying in a DVC deluxe studio with a lakefront view. So I'm really looking forward to checking out our room and I'm gonna do a whole tour of the room and show you everything that is included in the room. This is the building that we are going to be staying at at the Polynesian. We have stayed here once before when we came years ago during Christmas. But I haven't been here since, so I'm excited. So this is when you enter the building. There's a little seating area, which is really cute. We are on the second level, so we are heading up on the elevator. There is another nice seating area where when you get off the elevator. So we are headed this way to our room. things about the studios here at the Polynesian Resort is that they have a split bathroom which makes things so much easier if you have four or five people that need to get ready around the same time it's nice having a separate like bathroom area and a separate shower area and another vanity it just makes things a lot more easier and it's so nice to have that option in a studio so let me go ahead and show you the split bathroom to start our room tour and our deluxe studio lake view villa so when you walk in, here is the entryway. The door is behind me over here. It's a great spot to park the stroller. I love when they have these little enclaves to park the stroller. And then we do not have a lock off. I don't think that there are many lock offs in this building, but this would go to another room. And over here to the left, we have the first part of the bathroom, which is huge. This bathroom is humongous. Look at all of that space. This bathroom is so spacious. Just look at all the space that you have between the toilet and the tub area. I love that the Polynesian Studios have the tub shower combination. This is really great, especially if you have toddlers, babies, little kids who need to take baths. This is great because not all of the DVC studios have that option. And then we have our faucet and then the shower head up there. And I love the blue tile to fit in with the Polynesian theme. Then we also have our Disney shampoo conditioner products. And I love all of the details here at the Polynesian. We have images of birds, tropical birds are so cute. So this is the first vanity. This is a smaller of the two vanities, but you still have ample storage down here in these two drawers and then some storage on the side as well. We have our sink and then you have a mirror. So this is a really nice bathroom. We have some Polynesian details with the mermaid painting on the wall, but it is just so spacious. I cannot believe how big this bathroom is. So this is the first part of the bathroom. This bathroom is ginormous. This is one thing that we like about the Polynesian studios is that they have a very spacious bathroom, unlike some of the DVC studios. And then over here, we have some really cute artwork. I love all of the special touches and theming at the Polynesian. And so then right when we leave the bathroom, we have a closet right here. So we have our luggage rack, a safe in case you need that, laundry basket up here, extra pillows and blankets, an ironing board, an iron, some hangers, this is a pretty spacious closet too. So let's go ahead and shut that. And over here we have the second portion of the bathroom. This is a larger vanity than in the other section. We have a sink, more storage down below. There's a blow dryer right there. Very large mirror. And then here is the shower as well. I love that the Polynesian Studio Villa has a split bathroom. This is perfect when two people need to get ready or if I need to give Franklin a bath on that side and my mom and dad need to take a shower, they can do that. So we have our walk-in shower right here. So let's open that up. This is really nice. 
shower head, love the blue tile. It goes great with the theming. The stonework down below, little ledge. Then we have the Disney shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then over here, we have a bigger vanity than that was in the other side. We have our sink, more storage down below here. There's a lot of storage in the bathroom. And, and a really nice mirror, mirror over here as well. And then right across from this little bathroom, you have this little kitchenette, which is really nice in the studio villas that they have a kitchenette. You have a toaster. They do not have a cure, but they do have a coffee pot. This is Cuisinart. And you do get some Disney coffee, which is nice, but I feel like they never give you enough. But if you do not have enough or you run out, you can call Housekeep It and they will bring you some more. Because usually they give one regular and two decaf. But oh, looks like they're all regular. The coffee pot, seek, and they also give you some dish soap and sponge or sink. Then down here, recycling and trash. This one open. And then here we have a mini fridge, which is really nice. I really do not like the beverage coolers that they started putting in some of the studio villas or TVC rooms. So I am glad to see that it is a regular good old mini fridge. There's also a microwave in the kitchenette area. And then up here we have a roll of paper towels and then just some silverware, some plastic silverware, coffee cups. This one doesn't have, oh, there are some paper plates and bowls on that middle drawer up there. So this is the kitchenette area, which is nice at the studios you have a little kitchenette area. All right, now let's check out the best part, the room. Over here we have our bed, and I really love how you can store your luggage down below. I love this design that they've been doing. Then over here we have the pull-down Murphy bed, which I am such a big fan of the Murphy bed design. I love it so much. And then over here we have a seating area, which I love that they include a table and two chairs. Then we have a very large mirror over here. And then over here, we have our trundle bed, which is so adorable. I love the trundle bed. I love that you can sleep a fifth person here. This is perfect for little kids. They can sleep in here. Gives you some extra space in your room. And then how adorable is the Lilo and Stitch design? I'm obsessed. I hope my little one wants to sleep here instead of with me in the Murphy bed. This will be perfect for him. Let's go ahead and close that. And we have pretty large TV. And then, of course, we have the famous Tiki lamp here at the Polynesian. And then here is another view. We have the Murphy pull down, which I will pull down in a little bit. And then a little coffee table. And this also pops open for extra storage. You can store things in here as well. And then another look at the bed. And then we have a little end table here. And then we do have some USB ports right here. So love the artwork. So cute, but let's check out our lake view. Let me go ahead and open this up. Oh my goodness. Here is our balcony view. This balcony is so spacious for a studio balcony. Sometimes they can be really small. We have a chair here, a table here, and then there's also another chair here. And then, oh my goodness, look at this view. The boat is going across to Magic Kingdom. We have a view of the bungalows. That is definitely a bucket list item for sure. We are super close to the beach area. How incredible is this? down the Murphy bed. I love the Murphy bed feature. I am so glad that Disney started doing this when they started refurbing some of their 
DVC rooms because it just is so much better than sleeping on the couch because usually I'm with my mom and dad and they usually get the bed or the main bed in the bedroom and then I would have the fold out couch and some of them are very uncomfortable. The last one we stayed at Old Key West, it was horrible. I think it was broken and the bar was like jabbing my back. So that definitely needs to be replaced over Old Key West. But these Murphy beds are so nice. They're not as comfortable as the main bed, but they are so much more comfortable than a pull out couch. They're really easy to put up and to put down. So let me go ahead and show you how I put it up. We just lift up. Oops. And then you just push up, and there you go. Easy as that. So we have our couch, and this area right here is very spacious. That out of the way, you do have to move that in order to pull down the Murphy bed, but that is okay. And it does, let's see if I can do this one handed. It should. Oh, this one, some of them, the top part like lifts up for like a table. I don't think this one does that. I think it's just kind of like a open and shut situation, but you can move that around. It's nice that it does give you some more storage. And I love that we can just put our suitcases underneath the main bed. And so they're not in the way because we have a lot of bags. So this is our room here at the Polynesian. After we got all settled in a room and I had our luggage brought to us by Bell Services, we headed to Captain Cook's, the quick service option at the Polynesian for a little dinner. We were starving after a long day at Legoland. We had pizzas to split and then we also did get resort mugs for this trip. And then we treated ourselves to a Dole Whip because when you're staying at the Polynesian, I feel like you have got to get a Dole Whip. So Franklin and I split a Dole Whip and it was a perfect way to start our Walt Disney World trip. And then we just headed back to our room and then we watch the fireworks or Magic Kingdom from our balcony. room tour be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here because I have so many exciting Disney trip vlogs coming over the next couple weeks we are here for about a week and a half here on Disney property and I cannot wait to share all of our Disney vlogs with you I'm so excited we're gonna be doing park heavy days some great restaurants and so I'm super excited to share that with you so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye